God. Perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me? Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's scaled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you seek. I'll flight with you. Perfect. Would you like to make it uh, interesting? With a wager, I mean. My wager. Thank you. Are we ready? Let's begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. With words, I'll ensnare you and put you to bed. Yes! I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. While I doubt you can take me, I'll give you a go. That was delicious. It's rare that I meet one who can keep pace with me. So, uh, what do you say? Shall we find somewhere and exchange a little more than, uh, words? Absolutely. Good. If you enjoyed my flighting, you'll be thrilled by what else a skilled mouth can do.
Watch me, that man. The seats have spoken. Frodo, write this down. Let it be known that candied pears emerged a victor this day. Oh, no. We hereby decree that only candied pears shall be served at feasts. Now, everyone back to your starting positions. <coughs> On to the next ruling. Shall we play in the woods or down by the river tomorrow? Stools on the hay side are for the woods and the side with the sacks of beans for the river. Pick your seats. No pushing, Bjornsson. I'm watching you. Well, this is not good. It's a draw. This has never happened. Hmm. What about the tall one? Can we ask her to help break this tie? Good idea, Froda. Tall one, sit by the hayside if you vote for the woods. For the river, the side with the sacks of beans. The answer is clear. We shall play in the river tomorrow. Aye. Now, the next matter for our owlthing. <clears throat> we need a name for our merry band. The choices are... Raiders of the cake or the shadow dragons? Stools on the hay side are for raiders of the cake and side with the sacks of beans for shadow dragons. Pick your seats. Tall one, you too. Just in case we end up in a tie again. <laughs> It looks like we are tied. For now, tall one, we need your help once more. It is final. From now on, we are the Shadow Dragons. A fitting name for future warriors. Now to our next vault. <clears throat> what should we do if we manage to capture a picked soldier? Stools on the hayside are for beating him up. Side with the sacks of beans for taking him prisoner. Vote! It looks like we are tied. For now, tall one, we need your help once more. The seats have spoken. We will take the prisoner for questioning. The badge of wisdom shall be awarded to those who voted for this. You too, tall one. Remember. The more you know of your enemy, the better. Do not let any opportunity to learn more of them escape you. Froda, you had better be writing these words of wisdom down. Thanks for the help, tall one. The next generation inspires confidence. Snottinghamshire is in good hands. <laughs> Ah. Oh. 
loop bump. You can swell. Ek var að kalla fie árdegis í gær. Describe it for me, Sigurd. Valhalla. My father says the walls will drip mead, your fingers will sing, and your feet will grow wings. Jewels will fall from the mouths of wolves, butter jumps from barrel to bread. And the mud smells of lavender. I heard that once. Yes, and when your eyes command rain, it pours hot drops. Your smile craves sun, the clouds part like curtains. Bloody. Shiny, unbreakable Valhalla. One day our slaughter reeds will guide us there, my Eivor. And my father will not be with us. That much I know for truth. Aye, the drunken fool. I was there when he lit the thing on fire. We all told him not to, but he dared tempt fate. You saw it all. Go on, tell us what happened. I miss, Wilfred. They're true. A legendary picked warrior who can rip a wolf apart with his bare hands. You saw him? I don't know what we saw. Not exactly. But there's something up there. Archibald held up his torch all brave-like after lighting the fire. The next thing we know, his head dropped to his feet. He ran. Should we at least fetch his body? Huh. You can. I won't go back up that cursed mountain for all the silver in this land.
speak your name, warrior. Have it your way. Your life's purpose was to die for me. So, he speaks. You fought well, warrior. But here your legend ends, bound to no name. Mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide. But they keep falling. You have to let the air and nature's beauty guide you. Shape, balance, expression are key. Oh, wow. Thank you for showing me how. Steady your hands and your heart, tiny giant. Goodbye. I'll be okay on my own, Mama and Papa. Don't worry about me. I'll have an army of stone men to protect me.
<laughs> Time has come for you. I am proud the Lord speaks so cleanly through my soul here in Reconset. He talks of his instruments, and asks that I be one. It appears the Nephilim were at battle here long ago. Against a great tempest, some few protected us. We must honor these ancient paths. I have explained what he left for us here, to the Reckon dwellers nearby. Blessed be all those who tread in this holy light.
Lord Odin, for Thor, for Freya, and the Valkyries, and the saggy breeches. Come to me, Ragnar. Find me in the frenzy. Um... Hail, warrior. Are these wetlands your longhouse? Your mead hall? This is a Drenger's ritual chamber. I am Skegholt, pledged to Ragnar Lothbrook in Huga and body, iron and soul. I seek one willing to take the ritual and engage me in combat to the death. I understand. For an opponent, you could do worse than me. Join me then in Drenger Seder. Ragnar taught it to me at Uppsala for nine moons and I never stopped. I will only fight one who enters my frenzy. For if we are not in the same state, I will have an unfair advantage. What is the potion then? Mead and rotten bread? A sacred ale of high, volatile spirits and Thor's fungus, the Ammonita Mascaria. Ragnar and I would quaff this great elixir before each new raid. I often saw him transcend the laws of battle. Drink of the brew that bubbles here in my pot. Then we will enter the frenzy together, and only one of us will leave. May you walk the bee thrust with heavy steps, Drenger. You fought well, and our journey was fair. Now yours continues. Now I transcend. Farewell. It is my turn to see the god of poetry. This place is heavily guarded.
The kingdom of Bernicia and Elmet have granted me the right to worship here, by edict of Yopa of Bernicia. The Nephilim were the only race with the strength to have moved such pillars, with the power of the Lord behind them. But what were they guarding against? Did you command them, Lord? Was it for the sin of people of other times? Was it to keep the demons out? This area is off limits.
Phew. That's better. Could this possibly be? You knock your arrow into the bowstring, pull it back, aim and fire. Try again. Lord, save us all if we ever have to rely on you lot to defend us with bows. Remember, faint aim never won fair battle. Again. Blood! Unbelievable! Which one of you did that? I did. What marvellous aim. For a moment, I thought my trainee was getting into these thick skulls. See if you can hit one of the targets above. That was sound aim. Amazing. That was a fluke. I bet it was. Yeah. I bet you can't hit that, uh... That chicken. Right over there. The one hanging from the pole. Go on, then. Hit that hanging chicken from here. No cheating. Huh. To hit that chicken would require some kind of special technique. Oh, that's mad. Extraordinary. <laughs> that was true skill and aim. On the mark. Well, friend, you can count on us to lend a hand against King Constantine and his well-paid picts. And thank you for showing these turnips some skilled marksmanship. Visit us again. As for the rest of you, keep practicing! Meet your fate. Small gesture for their cause. The guards here are vigilant. Danish Tapper and Norman Crumb. Honey, an A hen. Shake it, Allah. Tata Fila Fola. Easy, friend. You will be avenged. Our bodies may be broken, our pouches may be empty, but our souls will thrive. You will be remembered. What happened here? An attack gone awry. We found more of Constantine's Picts than expected. The rich have their numbers, both in coin and spears. My men were not ready, and we were overwhelmed. But I'm afraid it's not over. They know I still live. Hark! Pick tree enforcements! To battle! The spirit of my men are with me, and my spirit with theirs! You're going down! We will kill every king! Even yours! For they squander the nobility they've been birthed to! Hmm. 
The threat is gone. What a fight! The picked King Constantine will feel a little lighter in the purse tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for your aid. Um, Call me Eivor. The name's Reacher. Reacher Sherwin. You know, we could use someone like you in our band of merry rogues and knaves. The poor get richer and the rich get poorer, thanks to us. We have a hideout in the woods. Drop by sometime. Share an ale, maybe. Maybe. Well, until we meet again. A hideout in the woods. Sounds interesting. Sean, these memory stream fragments I'm finding, are they adding up to anything? Nothing coherent so far, just random clips. Hard to say how they all fit together. Damn it. I think there's more here than meets the eye. Just keep going. You heard. The High Council has stripped the mother of her title. For gifting our tormentor her seventh method of salvation. The seventh method? Is it viable? Why are we not told? I've heard whispers and rumors. It seems the seventh requires a human host. A human host? Do you mean rebirth? As one of them? Yes. But it's a small loss for a greater gain. A risk we must be willing to take.
Almost there. Eight down, two to go. Good. But here comes another kaleidoscopic gemstone of gibberish. Not bad, Sean. Working on your kennings? As a matter of fact, I am, yes. Thank you for noticing, Data Wrangler. I got the data. Sending it now. This is taking too long. I need more fire, more oil. They must burn. They must burn. Burn the Draugars before they rise. Please. My family, they've died unjustly. They need to be burned. But this fire won't do. I must burn them before they turn into vengeful Draugars. There must be something around here that burns. Oil jars for the fire. This should be enough. Thank you. Thank you. Now may they rest in peace. Will they truly rest? You said the Draugars, your family no less, would return vengeful. It's my fault. I killed them. My greed robbed me of my senses, and now my family. My brother was to inherit my father's wealth. But it was my right. They called me a lout. A disgrace. They were right. Now our family fortune sits in the house. Worthless when there is nobody left to enjoy it with. A favor I beg of you. Slay me so I may join them in Helheim and beg their forgiveness. Men like you deserve something worse than death. I hope your family condemns you even in Helheimer. Monastery, over there! Hakit land! The spills of gods! We beat the raven this day! Ah. Take the blunder! Gone the rest! Tom! 
Time's up, kid! over here. Wow. 
Where did the others go? Greetings. I bring fair tidings, Ranvi. Heminger Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He has now joined our clan and will serve as a radar on my ship. I remember the young man. He will make a fine addition to your crew. <laughs> 